Hey guys, MTP Heavy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a, a new video for you. I'll be uh, teaching how to install Minecraft Comes Live mod. If you don't know what it is, uh, it's a mod for Minecraft, and I have a review over it in my channel. So uh, be sure to go check that out if you haven't already. Um, all everything that I'm going to be using will be in the description down below. The link to them, anyways. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first link you want to go to is the uh, MCA link. So uh, if you just go on Google and you um, you search up Minecraft comes alive, and you will see here Radix Shop uh, dot com, uh, Radix or whatever. Uh, link to this will be down below, so you don't have to actually search this up. But once you are over at this link, you download whichever version you want so here we go this is 1.12 1.10 and 1.7 for the sake of this tutorial i'll be downloading 1.12 so first we download radix core we just click on main and it'll open up the new tab we open downloads and this will open the new tab so radix core is what runs minecraft comes live and downloads is where you download the mod now once you click on skip here It'll bring up to this download page where uh, after three seconds you could download everything. So uh, Google will think you have some weird files, but uh, you want to keep them because you you'll need them in the future. So now now that we're done with those, we want to go to uh, Forge, which is uh, Forge. Uh, Forge is basically what runs mods, so anything you want. You need to get Forge. So for this case, I'll be having doing 1.12.2. You click on whichever version you want. You you can open more, but so we're gonna download 1.12. We click on this. It'll bring us to Add Focus, and I believe there is no other mods you can or no other things you need. But if you want, there's also NEI, but I don't use NEI or Minecraft NEI, uh, but uh, I don't uh, rec. I wouldn't like say you would need it per se if you like have watched my tutorial on how to craft almost everything in it. So once we skip it, we could close that up. Uh, continue download. Um, so once we do this. Uh, we we I could cancel it, but I wanna for the sake of the tutorial I'll be showing you. So we now go to the downloads folder, and we open Forge. Um, it'll take a while, but open up this little installer. You just click on install client, but you have to have run that version of Minecraft before you can actually do this. So make sure to run the version of Minecraft since I've already run a version a version of. 1.12 Forge, I can, uh, or 1.12 Minecraft, I can install this client. But if you haven't already, you install, you have to open it and install that client, and then now you can install this client. Since I already have this, I'm gonna be canceling this. But after that, you want to hit your Windows key and R at the same time. Search up percent app data percent. You go to your dot Minecraft folder. Uh, you should not you should not have a mods folder at the moment. You want to create it like this exactly like this M O D S with a, a lowercase m. You open it and here I already have a bunch of mods, but basically you'll drag everything here and just put it into the folder. And for for me, I already have this mod, so I don't need it. Um and yeah, you basically have your mods. So I'll I'll see you um in the in the, the next clip where I uh will have Minecraft open and with uh, the mod installed. So now that we're on the Minecraft home screen, you can always hit um, mods over here to see all your mods that you installed. So you can see forges here. We have uh, more forge stuff. But uh, you just want to focus on Radix Core and Minecraft Comes Alive. These things are enabled already. And these will help you run the mod or just be able to play the mod. 
So since I already have the mod um, and I have a world for it, I will be launching this world right here. And uh, once it's launched, you'll see that I'm not lying and that everything's working correctly here. I have everything last time and I have every uh, item. If you go on creative and you go to the second page, you'll have all the items. And yeah, that's basically very simple, very nice, um, and easy to use. But as you should know that um, modding is a risky option. You could corrupt your game in some way that uh, or form that will uh, change everything. So uh, be warned. So yeah, if you want me to make a series over this, maybe just show you a bit like more. Because really, I really just did a mod review. I didn't really play the mod itself. I've played the mod. I know how the mod works. I've seen the mod. I basically acknowledged this mod since it first came out. It's a great mod, and I would love you to check it out. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please shoot that like button if you did, and be sure to comment down below if you want me to uh, try this mod or not try out, but play this mod. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Click it, brings us to this little area. You right click it, it's an area where you choose it, and I'm on the finger button. I'm going to do it out, and then put in your name. I'm just going to stick with MVP Heaven.